the deeper we dive into space the more incomprehensible and hostile it becomes to live. Sometimes even hypothetical space monsters are not as frightening as ordinary planets. A Neptune-like gas giant will leave no trace of humans with its constant rain of glass, while two zombie planets orbit a long dead star in the constellation Virgo suffering from radiation every day. Today we're going to take you on a short journey to planets that you would hardly want to visit in reality. The first planet in line is the blue gas giant HD 189733b. It's slightly larger than Jupiter, but unlike the largest planet in the solar system HD 189733b is only 29,005,798 miles away from its star. For comparison the distance between Jupiter and the Sun is almost 166 times greater. Therefore one orbital period of HD 189733b around its star takes only 2.2 days with an orbital speed of 134,000 miles per hour. The star around which the gas giant is moving is a cape star or orange dwarf. Such stars have a lower temperature than for example G-type dwarfs like our Sun, but they have a longer lifespan. These factors make these stars very promising for the development of life on planets in their systems, but the planet we're telling you about is definitely inhospitable to any life forms we know. HD 189733b is too close to its star. According to various sources the giant's temperature reaches almost 2000 degrees Fahrenheit, so it belongs to the class of hot Jupiters. In particular, it can be turned only one side to the star, but according to the Spitzer telescope, despite this its surface still has a fairly high temperature around the perimeter. But that's not the only reason why HD 189733b is a life-threatening planet. I wonder why this planet is completely blue. Another gas giant Neptune as far as you know has the same color because of its dense methane clouds. However, although there are traces of methane on HD 189733b it's too hot for the gas to condense into clouds. In particular there's no water there only water vapor. So why does the gas giant have a similar color? This blue color of the planet is probably due to its strange atmosphere which has reflective silicate clouds that form droplets of glass. On HD 189733b it rains small glass particles moreover along the horizontal. However remember the planet's rotation speed because of this its winds can reach almost 6,000 miles per hour. Superfast storms on HD 189733b with glass impurities could cause fatal harm to humans and very serious damage to other matter. So the weather on this gas giant is dangerous to put it mildly. In addition to glass storms and high temperature HD 189733b is also very strongly irradiated by its star. The planet loses 100 to 600 million kilograms of atmosphere per second. Therefore it's unlikely that anything would be able to survive on this deadly planet from all sides. You've probably seen images of hell before a hot and creepy place filled with lava covered in black soot. The next two planets 55 Cancri E and K2141b can confidently claim to be real hell worlds with oceans of lava on their surfaces. 55 Cancri E is a rocky planet almost eight times the size of Earth. It orbits at a distance of only 1,394,337 miles around a calm and rather cold red dwarf located 41 light years from the Sun. It is the closest planet in the system. In addition to it there are four other confirmed planets all of them are gas giants which are also very close to their central star except for the last one 55 Cancri D. A year on 55 Cancri E lasts only 18 hours, and only one side of it is likely to be irradiated. Thus the temperature of its side facing the star can reach an average of 4200 degrees Fahrenheit and the unlit side averages from 2400 degrees Fahrenheit to 2600 degrees Fahrenheit. However Alexis Brandica a researcher at Stockholm University has noticed that the hottest spot is moving and the temperature around it is varying. He concluded that the planet may be in resonance with its star which means it has a day and night cycle. However the ultra-high temperature of the illuminated side indicates that this part of the planet may be molten and thus completely covered with a layer of lava. It is not known for certain whether the alleged night side is covered with lava. According to astronomer René who the entire planet should be covered with lava. Moreover 55 Cancri E most likely has a dense atmosphere that can hide layers of lava. 
It consists mostly of the same elements as Earth's mostly hydrogen helium as well as nitrogen and oxygen, but no traces of water vapor have been found there. So if this planet can have an atmosphere and still be in resonance with it, then it can cool down. But then this hellish world becomes even more dangerous. If the silicate surface heats up and evaporates during the day, then the vapor would cool down overnight, and like on HD 189733b would create some precipitation namely lava drops. Add to this the very fast movement of the planet around the star, and we get the likely hot storm with lava rain. Finally such proximity to the star can cause volcanic activity on the planet, which can also increase the planet's temperature by blocking heat emissions. K2141b is also a rocky planet that orbits the orange dwarf at a distance of 202 light years. It's almost five times larger than Earth and also has a density of 1.5 times more, but it moves at an even smaller distance from the star than 55 Cancri e, 694,379 miles. Therefore one year on this planet lasts only seven hours making its orbital period one of the shortest known at the moment. The hellish winds can reach speeds of 5,000 miles per hour there. The planet is most likely blocked by tides. Its illuminated side can have a temperature of 5,430 degrees Fahrenheit, while at night the temperature drops to negative 328 degrees Fahrenheit. Likewise the daytime side is completely covered by lava ponds at depths of more than 62 miles. Moreover like Earth's oceans K2141b has a similar magma cycle. The silicate rocks vaporize and fly at supersonic speeds to the cooled side where they condense and return to the hot side and fall out as pebbles where they evaporate again forming a thin layer of atmosphere and keeping the lava in balance. This is very similar to the weather on the previous planet but because K2141b is blocked its precipitation has time to cool and therefore falls as rocks rather than lava. However some studies indicate that the flow of minerals back to the illuminated side may be too slow which could theoretically create an overload on one side and change the planet's rotation on its axis. Thus the atmosphere of K2141b consists of solid elements sodium sodium oxide or silicon dioxide meaning it has the same composition as the surface. Our Earth probably looked like this at the beginning of its formation but it's highly doubtful that these two planets will ever be able to give any life a chance to develop. According to the study of astrophysicist Stefan Charbonneau this planet may be only 557,734 miles away from the star. Therefore the planet's surface could be around 12,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It's impossible to say exactly what the planet might look like because of the difficulty in studying it, but only part of the fried core may likely be visible from under that destroyed surface. It could have been a gas giant before but it lost its shell. There's also another planet in this system KOI-55c, which is probably also rocky. They may be in a 32 orbital resonance, which could explain why they probably still exist. However, this is not the strangest and scariest thing that's happened to this planet. During this phase the star begins to grow and absorb nearby planets, and since KOI-55b probably continues to move around the star it most likely spent some time inside its dying star and survived. When the planet hypothetically a gas giant at the time was inside it could have completely lost its gas and liquid envelope which is why it has that scary half-dead appearance. In addition it may be evaporating due to the influence of its star so maybe the planet doesn't have much time left. So far the existence of both planets has not been confirmed and the signals from this system received by the Kepler telescope are interpreted differently. Proximity to one star is rarely favorable for the planet itself or possible life there. Another planet has only one burnt core left due to the influence of its host star. TOI-849b was probably a large gas giant the size of half of Saturn, although it's possible that by the time the gas envelope was destroyed it could have been the size of Neptune. TOI-849b may have lost its shell due to the influence of its star, but it's also possible that it simply didn't have time to acquire one. It may have either formed from a large gas cloud that would have had time to settle into a gas giant and clear the path around it or it may have simply failed to absorb enough gas due to the influence of the star. The two previous worlds this one probably has an atmosphere although it's very difficult to imagine one due to the high temperature of 3000 degrees Fahrenheit. The size of the planet is 4.7 times that of Earth with a density almost the same as that of Earth. 
It also has a core of heavy elements, but the gas shell is more likely evaporating due to the influence of the star. The temperature is still too high to retain a dense atmosphere so it could be replenished from the evaporating core. The presence of heavy molecules has already been confirmed there but since the planet continues to lose its atmosphere it is likely that only one core will remain. It is also possible that the planet was originally the core of a gas giant that retained its gas envelope for unknown reasons. LTT 9779b is only 0.02 astronomical units from the star and has an orbital period of less than 24 hours. Its host star is a yellow dwarf with a slightly higher temperature than the Sun located 264 light years from Earth. The planet's high temperature and short orbital period is quite surprising for a system with such a central star as it's very rare for yellow dwarfs to have hot Neptunes or planets of similar size at such close distances. There are many strange planets in the universe that do not yet have clear explanations for their properties. This category includes the exoplanet KLT9b which is one of the largest discovered at the moment. Its size is almost 1.8 times larger than that of Jupiter, but its mass is only 2.88 times larger than Jupiter. Therefore its density is one of the lowest among other planets. However that's not the most interesting thing about it. The fact is that KLT9b orbits one of the hottest stars located 670 light years from the Sun. Its temperature is 17,540 degrees Fahrenheit, which is three times higher than the temperature of the Sun, so the temperature of the giant planet can reach 7,800 degrees Fahrenheit, so high that it begins to destroy molecular bonds on the daytime side. Hydrogen carbon and oxygen molecules just break apart, and iron and titanium exist there in atomic form. In addition the gas is likely evaporating from the planet leaving a tail like a comet. However, the destroyed molecules may recover in the evening when the temperature on that side decreases. The orbital period of KLT9b is very short, 1.48 days. Despite the destruction of the planet's atmosphere it continues to rotate tidally locked. However, this state is unlikely to last long as the planet continues to lose its gas and the star will eventually expand and destroy the planet completely.